Happy fifth week, everybody. So, supervised experience live class is on for Saturday. Get ready to travel because I'm hoping it's not going to snow. No, I think they backed off on that. But if it's rainy, um, I'm going to keep an eye on the weather for Saturday. So, don't panic if it's looking bad. Uh, I don't want to have anybody in a dangerous situation. So, um, please know I'm monitoring that and keeping an eye on it. That said, let's talk about this fifth week and, and prepping for Saturday and looking at the material. So uh, first off, videos. Um, videos are among, uh, honestly, the out of all the things I do at Northwestern, the most time consuming thing to grade are the, are the videos. And that's, and, and so Professor Trammell is providing a lot of the feedback for this class um, because we're, we're splitting it up and, and that's, you know, how we're kind of delineating the responsibilities. Um, there's no particular reason or rhyme. It's just more like, hey, this is how we're going to do this class. So, um, Professor Trammell's, uh, and I, last time I, sh I, I looked at the video I shared last two, two semesters on this class, and I didn't have them back by this time. I, had, I, was, I was planning to give them back afterwards. Uh, she set a, a high goal to, to, to get these back. So, um, she may not have them all done before Saturday. And if not, no worries, because really the, the expectations for saturday are are really synonymous parallel with your first video because you should just be establishing rapport getting to know your client really just your main goal should be to deeply understand your client um, this saturday so uh so videos uh you'll expect them back either later this week or or you know next week and it's okay uh, again when I've done this, I've not got them back before this class, so, so don't, you know, it, it is what it is. They're, we want to do a good job um, because this is it. I mean, this is like when people think of counselor education, it's like this. I want to know really what I'm supposed to be doing. And this class, strategies, practicum, group, this is where we, this is where we do it. So enjoy the process. Be okay with making mistakes. Um, and, and let's do this thing. So. Uh, February 10th, 8 to 4. Please be on campus, uh, ready to go by 8. Um, we'll meet as a group first and just do some lecture. We'll, I know I'm giving a video here. I don't want this video to go too long, so I'm not going to go over specific details for Saturday. But just, you know, no, we'll, we'll go over that, okay? We'll go over the expectations of micro skills and, and the specific things that, you know, you want to be doing and practicing, you know, this first live class. Um, we have a small class. And so that's that's beneficial to you. I've had 22 students in this class before, and I've had to really you know break people up. I used to have Stephen F. Austin students help us, and it was really hard for me to give a lot of time to each student. And so um, you're like, oh boy, I wish I had it back because I don't have the professor. No, 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 no. It's just it's more chilled. It's more relaxed. There's not as many disruptions. Just come make. A, a, a good acquaintance with your client, you know, establish that therapeutic rapport where, where they trust you. Um, that's that's the main goal. So, um, so one thing that I do want you to be aware of, you will not be allowed to counsel the uh, the same person that you are working with, either as a client or a counselor in your videos. So that may make this difficult, but but we want this to be an unfamiliar process for you. Um, if you're already familiar with somebody, it's really easy to fall into traps like a friend, where you're you know not wanting to go into depth or detail because you don't want to hurt their feelings, and that's not really what we want. We want this to be more of an objective approach where you don't know each other that well. So if you've worked with each other in group, that's fine. But I definitely don't want, or, or, or strategies before, but I definitely don't want the person that you're following uh, in either capacity in your videos um, for the semester. Let's, let's choose someone new. And that's for your own you know, development. So let's share my screen. Let's go ahead and get into this week. I don't want to go too long. That's my goal is to get through this thing. I can talk for a long time. Um, so it's, it's you know ch chapter five, module five. Uh, read through this. You want to come through the single doors on the northwest, excuse me, northeast side of the building. It's the closest to the corner of 30th and Randolph Street. We're right across the street from Jumbo Foods. We'll talk about that later. Here's this week. 
Um, again, I'll watch the weather. Make sure we're not putting anybody in harm's way. Watch the Carl Rogers video. A lot of what you're going to be doing Saturday is Carl Rogers. A lot of unconditional positive regard. Now, we'll go into a little bit more specificity with things like, um, uh, well, I, Carl Rogers does this. His genuineness, the congruence with your client. Um, you know, we'll, we'll go into more of those micro skills in the morning. But look over those from strategies. Definitely want to do your micro skills. Um, minimal use of questions. Very minimal use of questions. If you do have a question, open-ended, right? open-ended. Uh, other humanistic techniques that are out there, go ahead and read through this. Again, I don't want to take too much time doing this. This is the material that's on the table for you to learn this week. One thing that I will want you to implement at the last five minutes, so plan to go about 30 minutes each with your clients as a counselor, so you'll demo, and, and so you'll go at least 25 minutes without goal setting. And you're like, well, well, I thought that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to implement more advanced techniques. I need to show that I can do this. Why? You don't know your client. You're not even getting to spend a whole hour with a person before you maybe spend five minutes collaborating for a goal. It should not be, period, that you give your client a goal. That is going to be like, eh, no. How should you develop goals? Well, your client knows their life. You've known them for 25 minutes in a session. How about let's pull from them? What do you want to work on? That question was open-ended, right? So uh, let's let the client guide us. And if you, I would say even if you don't get there, this is important. Even if you don't get there, like, like say you're so in-depth in the conversation with your client and getting to know and deeply understand them, and you're like, crap, I didn't get to a goal. And that's what I, I'm, I'm going to be more interested in seeing you comfortable and that other person comfortable talking to you and going into some emotional depth. That's real. I mean, that's if, if there's one thing you can carry out of the program, that's really what I'd rather see than some cookie cutter type of technique that you're going to use. That's what we want to see. So, um, you know, you're going to see this person two more times. This will be your first. So you'll work with the same person throughout this class. You'll see this person two more times and probably for a little bit longer, probably for 35 minutes. And so there'll be time to work on goals. There'll be time. To, so, so once you deeply understand your client, then you can take the month after, you know, in between when we meet each other again and think about, it really seems like this person is is grappling with this or, or and then you can think about okay what do i want to implement next time and you're intentional some intentionality in your approach what you want to do with that person so yeah even if you don't get to the the mi at the very end so so the reason i'm, I'm sharing this in this there's definitely method to the madness uh motivational interviewing gives you a technique to ask questions in a way that leads to goal setting and and solution focused some of you've already practiced solution focused solution focused and mi are almost synonymous they just developed independent of each other mi really is focused on more like people with addictions if you're ladc you need to know mi and so the reason a lot of you are ladc uh, as well and so the reason i'm really focused in on mi is it's a collaboration between carl rogers unconditional positive regard and CBT so that's really what Bill Miller Dr. Miller is doing here there's a video free to watch there's also an ancillary auxiliary folder with information and so I shared a PowerPoint where I used to teach this and I, th I think well I don't teach the class anymore but um, there it is the PowerPoint but if you want to really see MI in a nutshell, download this thing, open it up, come on, there it is. Oh, you can see it back from 2017, MI hasn't changed much, it's been around a little while, and it's tried and true. 
So the MI spirit, the, the client should feel like they have autonomy. The, the, they should be driving the session. Uh, you're there to support. There should be a real collaborative feel. Um, and you're there to evoke deep emotion, evoke what's deeply within them. And so it, it's basically just you putting your micro skills together. Um, here's the principles. You really want to express empathy. Hmm. Oh, Roger. Um, you want to roll with resistance. If, if the client is resistant to talk about something, um, roll with that. Don't overly confront, but don't ignore it either. You know, draw attention to it. It seems like you're not wanting to talk about this. What's going on? You know, there, there's a there's a, a quick synopsis and then an open open any question. Develop discrepancy. Support self-efficacy. My guess is that you're all really in self insightful and aware. And so when you have counselors counseling other counselors, you usually don't have to do much work. You use, so this is a good opportunity for each of you to work on your micro skills. Fundamental skills. So you're going to use affirmations. An affirmation and, and a cheerleading, an episode of cheerleading can get confused. Oh, good job. That's giving, that's giving your appraisal. That's not an affirmation. Oh my gosh, that sounded difficult. That sounded like it took so much energy. That's an affirmation. Um, so there's a difference. We'll talk about that in class. Um, reflections. Reflections of content are necessary for you to understand the client, for them to hear what they said. Reflection of feeling, deeper emotion, even reflection of meaning. I mean, there's a lot of different types of reflections. Uh, and then summarizations, those are really good for transitions. Tell, uh, really like these open-ended requests. So yeah, there, there's where, what, when, how, how why. Um, I really like tell me more about or describe. Um, tell me about, tell me more. That's really my catchphrase. If I ever catch myself like I want to ask a close-ended question, I go with tell me more because instead of are you feeling sad? What did I just do? When I say, are you feeling sad? I gave a judgment, right? I'm letting the client know. I'm judging you. I'm judging you as sad. And number two, I'm planning an emotion. Well, should I feel sad? Do not. This is where you will be like with, with professor, with doctor enough. And you'll be like, eh, close in questions are like nails on a chalkboard because they completely close the space you have with your client. Are you sad? No. End of conversation. Tell me more about how you're feeling. Whew, doors open. So think about that. What are you create? Are you creating space? I'm posing a question. <laughs> what type of space are you creating for your client? Usually when you hear the second word of your question is you, stop it. I, that's how I caught myself. Are you? Oh, that's going to be closing it. Tell me more about how you're feeling. Okay. Um, moving on. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you really go over that because I, I think I've got to what I want to do with the, with that PowerPoint. Just know you have information. Here's the last thing I'll talk about and then I'll, I'll shut this down since I didn't want to go on too long. Okay. You have a discussion, but it's going to be open for two weeks. Humanistic approaches. And so you're either going to try motivational interviewing from Saturday's class. Again, if you don't get there, that should not be. I don't want you to even think about motivationally interviewing somebody until the last five minutes, because that's when you're going to try to set a goal collaboratively. And if you don't get to a goal, it's, I don't care. I really want you to get to know and understand your client. If you run out of time, eh, so what? Um, read through this. I'm going to give you two, we're going to give you two weeks to work on this. Uh, because, again, you have a lot this week. You're going to be expected to drive to Enid. You're going to be expected to participate in class. Um, here are the traps. I'll go over the traps in class. Too much, too much, Taylor. Keep it simple. All right, Yang, I will see you soon. Please reach out to Professor Trammell or I if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, see you Saturday. Travel safe. 
Um, I'll have a, I'll have a couple of refreshments, but we'll also we'll have a little break for lunch in there too, where you can get like some real food and nourishment. But see you soon.